So, also, I hope you guys noticed that there has been a um, the makeup work link on Blackboard in the activity section. There is, you know, a, one of those links where you turn in assignments. Okay, and what that that is where you're going to turn in any kind of makeup work you have. Okay, so if you're going to redo an assignment, I mean, you know, make up any kind of assignments that you missed throughout the quarter, you're gonna turn it into that link. Do not turn it into the normal assignment. Okay, we're not looking at those assignment links anymore. So if you do turn it into an assignment link, it won't even be counted. Okay, if you do any kind of makeup work, make sure you put it in the makeup work, you submit it to the makeup work um, link whatever you will, that assignment link in the activity section, it's all the way at the bottom. Okay, that is where you're gonna submit your makeup work, whether it's a case study or it's an assignment. And if you're doing a case study, if you wanna make up your case studies, um, do them in a way where, um, do them like an essay, okay? Because you're not gonna be responding to any of your classmates in this. Go ahead and answer all those questions, but make sure you answer them thoroughly, provide support for your answers, and do it like an essay. All right, several par like several different paragraphs and all that, full essay form. Um, and that's how you're gonna get credit for that. Um, so the final exam will See, it should actually be open now. So if it's not open now, then I need to fix that. So if you guys try to take it right after this and you can't, then um, let me know so I can fix it. So what's gonna happen is final exam's gonna be open. You have all day, you know, the rest of the week to take it up until Saturday. Okay, Saturday night at midnight, you're done, all right? And that'll be when everything is due, okay? So any kind of makeup work, um, well, really just, I think it's just makeup work and the final exam for this class. So, but that will be due that day, that Saturday. Okay, nothing after that time will be accepted because I still have to grade everything, all right? So that's the cutoff. And um, also another thing, I need you guys to be mindful about what's happening with your grades. So you should have already seen a bump in, um, well, if you took all of you know, the quizzes, you should have already seen a boost in your grade, okay? Because I did go ahead and change the, update the grades a bit. All right, so I added in your extra credit quizzes. So if you took all four quizzes, you have an extra, a, long, a large chunk of extra credit in there. Um, so your grade should have went up. Um, obviously, if you didn't do well for, then it probably there's no change whatsoever. Um, so, but what I need you guys to do is just be mindful about what's happening with your grades. So if there is anything that might not be correct, um, contact me about it so we can fix it. Because we only have a couple more days left. All right. So it's exciting, but it's also stressful and you guys can't waste time okay that's what i'm trying to say but anyway other than that do we have questions and let's get started on our review okay so can we turn test corrections um i hope i if by test corrections you mean the quiz corrections then yeah quiz corrections oh you mean as makeup work i think is what you're talking about no, just um, the assignments and the case studies will be counted as makeup work. Okay. Um, but you still have time to do your um, quiz four corrections if you still have those. Um, I think that's it. Do you guys have any questions right now or do we want to go ahead and get started on the review? How many questions does the final have? The final has 100 questions, okay? And then there's an extra credit question at the end. All right, so it's just, it's all true, false, multiple choice, all of that. Um, each question is gonna be worth two points. And you're gonna get, I think three hours is what I put down to take it. So you guys have plenty of time. Obviously you can't take part of it in one 
part of it and then pause it and go retake it again. You have to take it all in one sitting so just make sure you're ready. Okay, um, and just in case there are any kind of technical difficulties, I recommend doing it as soon as you can. Okay, um, don't wait till the very last minute because at a certain point, it's gonna be too late. All right, so please don't wait until Saturday. Probably try to make Friday your last day, just in case anything happens. Try to make Friday the day that you 100% everything is done. That's what I would recommend. Um, anyway, any other questions? No? So we ready to review? Oh, I will take that as a yes, let's review. So let's go ahead and share the screen with you guys. Come on, go ahead. All right, so we have 78 questions for the review. Um, as everything is gonna be as usual. Okay, so use your ID numbers. Five people get extra credit in the end. Um, you got this, you guys know. I, no, stop. All right, play. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Thank you. 
Yes, good job. You guys all got that one. Shocker.
Okay, so <clears throat> yes, all healthcare executives are human resource managers. We've had this talk before. Um, so really all human uh, or all executives, all line managers, anyone really working in administration or management or anything like that, um, they have to be trained in human resources. Okay, and um, where we're going now in the market is that a lot of the human resource tasks um, and functions and whatnot, those are being outsourced, you know, just specific ones, especially those that have to do with like legal stuff, um, paperwork, whatever. Um, a lot of those tasks are being um, passed off to, you know, outsourced to like human resource um, companies that will do you know that service level human resource stuff for a variety of different organizations but many of the human resource tasks that have to do with um <clears throat> strategic management um planning uh, you know coming up with a strategy hiring firing uh well firing i think a lot of that it has to do with like legal stuff and that's what you drop to the other people but you know recruiting things like that a lot of that is handled and even like hand, um, managing your um, your employees firsthand that is all being done by either healthcare executives or line managers and it really just depends on your job um, position job position that will sort of determine like what um, which human resource functions you're going to be responsible for. But what I'm trying to say is really that, yes, all healthcare executives are going to be human resource managers. Okay. And all, also all line managers are going to be considered human resource personnel as well. Okay. Because they all have to handle a variety of different human resource functions.
Okay. So the intrinsic rewards are intangible. Okay, so that means that the type of rewards you would get, intrinsic rewards you would get would be like, good job. Wow, couldn't have done it without you. Great, you're really working well. Stuff like that, okay? Um, so they're not tangible stuff. The extrinsic rewards are tangible stuff and that's like the actual physical stuff that um, you can get, like money, okay? Okay, so succession planning only happen, it's not going to happen with all the positions in an organization because it doesn't really make sense. Um, you don't really need succession planning if, you know, you have an organization with a bunch of line workers or a bunch of, you know, cashiers or anything like that. If they're, um, because the business can still operate without that one person who may have just quit, okay? Um, a business probably had, you can probably call in someone else to fill in that position for the next few days until you can hire someone else if you really have to. But succession planning, because su there's a lot of effort that goes into succession planning, and that, for that reason, they only use it for those specific positions that are very critical to the operation of the whole organization. Okay, so CEOs, 
are what you do succession planning with. Maybe, you know, executives, um, you know, managers that have to manage an entire like department, okay? Where, you know, those, those specific positions where you can't afford to have those positions vacant. If someone were to quit, you have to be able to have someone who's ready to take on that position immediately. And you can't just pick anyone. You have to have someone that you've been training for a while because that particular job requires a lot of training. Okay, so succession planning is a big deal and you really only do it for those particular positions that are so critical to operations. Okay, if it's a position where it's not too critical, if someone quit, you know, and the if someone quits who's in that position and the business is still gonna carry on until they, um, you know, are able to fill that new, that position with someone else, then it's not a critical to operations type of a position and it does not require succession planning, okay? So job specification is um, that whole um, paragraph at, usually it's the beginning at the top of the job posting where it talks about, um, well actually I think it's the second paragraph, it's below, okay? And this is the point where, the part where it'll talk about um, what duties are going to be involved, what you're going to have to be doing, um, <laughs> sorry, not the duties that are going to be involved, but it's going to talk about the, um, the, the education that might be required, the, um, if you have any kind of physical requirements, like lifting 50 pounds, or maybe travel, if that's going to be a requirement, if education is a requirement, if like five years of experience is a requirement, it's going to list all those things that are required for that particular job. So maybe it's also going to list all the certifications and licenses that you require. Okay, so that's the job specification. It's very specific about the technical details that are going to be required for the job. A job description, on the other hand, is the one where it talks about really the job summary, um, all the different things that you're gonna have to expect in the job, the job do, the responsibilities you're supposed to have, and things like that.
All right. Okay, um, so you guys, do most employers out there, especially in healthcare, um, do they offer you to be able to only work a couple days a week, long hours, so that you can have the rest of the week off? Is that normal? No, it's not, it's actually not normal, especially in healthcare. Okay, so um, yeah, that would that's why that's false. It's you know some do, and it kind of depends on the position and what type of work it is. If you can compress it, the employer might be willing to do that. But many jobs out there, especially in healthcare, because in healthcare we're working with patients and clinics and things like that, and you can't just tell all the patients to come at one time in the week and then allow your facility to close the rest of the week. You usually can't do that. So um, that is why this is false.
Okay. Um, all right, so when you have a capitation, a capitation arrangement with a physician, that means that you are paying one flat fee per, um, well, if pretend that you are the managed care organization and the physician is the person that you have the contract with and he's the one who's going to take care of your patients. Okay, you assign the patients to that physician. That physician takes care of the patients. Okay, so you are going to pay that physician one flat fee, okay, per patient that you assign to that physician. Okay, one flat fee every single month. So it doesn't matter um, how much, how many times that physician is taking care of those patients. It could be that physician might take care of some of your patients like every single month. Maybe they'll have an appointment every month and seeing that physician. And maybe some of those patients that you send to that 
physician might be very healthy and they almost never go see the doctor, okay? Regardless, you're still paying that physician just that flat fee per patient that you send to them, okay? So in that kind of situation, um, if you're if you're that physician now, and you're getting the same amount of money per patient, regardless of whether or not you do anything intensive with that patient and you take care of them and give them every single test in the book, or if you rarely see that patient or if you don't do much with that patient. And keep in mind, the testing, the supplies, everything is coming out of your business. Okay, you're just getting some compensation, just that, you know, membership fee, basically, that they're paying you every month. Um, so all the tests, every supply, all your time, every bit of resource that you're using for those patients, it's coming out of your business expense. Okay, so if that's the case, are you going to, um, for your patients, are you probably going to give them all the tests? Are you going to be booking appointments with them left and right? Are you going to be telling them to come back just to check up all the time? Or are you probably thinking, if I don't have to, if it doesn't look too serious, I'm probably not going to give them that many tests. I'm probably not going to spend as much time. I'm not going to tell them that I require them to come back for follow-up next month. They can just do that on their own if they feel like it. Are you probably thinking you're, you're going to do more of like a bare minimum for your patients if you're not being paid well enough is what I'm trying to say. So, and that's the situation here when you're paid on capitation, based on capitation and you're not making too much and maybe you have some patients who are very, you know, need a lot of extra attention and things like that. Um, it might cause you to go, hmm, if I don't have to for certain patients, I'm not gonna do too much because it's just coming out of my pocket, all right? So that's why um, this is the answer. Okay, it wouldn't be too many unnecessary procedures because if you're not getting paid for these unnecessary procedures, why would you wanna do more unnecessary procedures, okay? All right.
Um, that's individuals, just so you guys know. Individuals have access to employees.
Um, you know, some of these are just, it, it's what it looks like, okay, Pregnancy Discrimination Act, that's, you know, discrimination on the basis of pregnancy. I don't know what else, how else to explain that. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's just what it looks like. So, um, good job, guys. And...
You guys, you guys still, you guys need to know that vol or basically there are four mandatory benefits. Okay, 
really, if, if you don't understand the whole concept be behind voluntary and mandatory, you could just memorize the mandatory benefits and then just everything else is voluntary. That's all you have to know. Um, so what are the mandatory ones? Social security, workers' compensation, okay, unemployment, and Medicare. Those are the four ones. Those are four mandatory. There's no other mandatory benefit other than those four. So everything else is a voluntary benefit, okay? Last question. Those are your five, your extra credit people. Okay, there you go. Um, I'll go ahead and stop sharing this. Um, so do we have any questions or anything like that before we close out? Anything? So this is our last, no more Zoom. Wait, say it again, sorry. There is no more Zooming? We're yeah, done. this was the last one. This okay. is it. 100%, this is the last one. No more Zooming. All that's, you guys have to be um, mindful of from here on out is your final exam and any kind of makeup work that you need to get done. And um, I think that's it. Okay, and then just make sure you watch your grades and if there's anything that needs to be fixed, that you need to talk about or anything like that, you need to get that done now because within a few days, well, by Saturday, everything's locked in, whatever your grades are, um, other than what, if the final needs to be you know, graded, um, that's your grade, okay? There will be no other changes after Saturday, okay? So after Saturday, all I'm gonna do is get your final exams together. Um, so everything has to be done. If you have any issues, it has to be like turned in or ready, discussed, whatever, before Saturday. All right. So letting you guys all know that because then I'm going to turn in grades either Sunday or Monday as soon as they're finished. So that's it. All right. So good luck with everything. If you have any questions or anything. Professor? Does she leave? Can you hear me, Professor? Yeah, I can. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Uh, yeah. Um, what's up? Uh, yeah, uh, I emailed you uh, about, I think, last week or two weeks ago uh, concerning my Blackboard problems. I was going to email you the assignments. I had a specific question on one of the assignments, but I never got a, a return. So I was just letting you know. I would just email you what it is that I. Oh, have. Okay. Wait, did you get um? Because I know I emailed you. I'm pretty sure I emailed you back the assignments that I'm missing from you. I got that part. Did you get that? I, I had another question. Uh, I couldn't. It's too long. Okay. Just, you know, email me. It's fine. If I don't respond today, then it may have got lost. So try to remind me again. Okay. You got to get these emails answered. Okay. So, but yeah. Um, that's fine. If it's too long, go ahead and email me it. Okay. Thank you. Um, anything else, guys? 
have a question. Oh, right. Your LLR. Got it. Um, okay, yeah? Are you going to give extra credit for today's Kahoot for the top three? And then also for last quiz, quiz four, are you giving it, did, were you going to give the extra credit? Yeah, that should have already been done for last. I'll recheck last um, last week's, but I'm pretty sure it already happened. Or I don't know, maybe I didn't. Um, yeah, definitely. The top five are supposed to get um, your extra credit. So if you didn't, um, yeah, maybe remind me and I'll have to recheck it and see if I forgot that. Okay, I'll send you um, an email then. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's, I don't see it for last week, for quiz four. Yeah. Thank you. Um, no problem. Anything else, guys? No? Okay, well, there you have it. There are the last few things you guys need to um, pay attention to in the last few days. So do it. Okay, and good luck on your final exams. I'm not really worried about any of you guys. I think you guys are gonna do great. So go ahead and do great. And um, keep in touch through email and um, yeah, I'll see you guys. Well, I won't see you guys soon, but I'll email you guys soon when we close out the course and all that. Okay, so, um, okay. See you guys later. Have fun. Bye.